Now, whether you're an established business or a business that's just getting started, you should have this question in yourself. How can you find a better client? But what if, if we can tweak that and twist that so that we can do something different? And what if you ask this question, how can a better client find you? Now, that's the thing that we're gonna talk about in this episode and it's coming up. This is one of the questions that is most common to business owners or founders or entrepreneurs um, in general where they will ask themselves like how can I find a better client? Now there are a lot of ways for you to find a better client but what if if you change and twist it a little bit where you can position yourself as the master or the expert in that market or in that field? So what if, if you, you can ask yourself like how can better clients find me? So that you know you'll not get tired of looking for and chasing for clients to just do business with you. And then you can twist it around and make it as like they need you instead of you needs them. So there are you know quite a few ways in order for your client to find you so that they can do business with you. So the first one is advertising, and we all know this that Whenever you have a business, you always need to advertise. You always need to promote your products. Now, no matter what kind of product or no matter how good your product is, if no one knows about it, then no one will buy it. That's why we are or we need to advertise your product and your services. So when you do that, it's kind of just like this is what we do and whoever finds this message then come and feel free to call us or go visit our store or our office and that's what we usually do and that is what most businesses do that is why it's so noisy it's so crowded and if you're just starting your business and you know it's just it's just your first time or you've been in this business for a while you know that it's so crowded and the market is just saturated and then the second one is a word of mouth now once you get the traction and have this few clients hopefully you did a good job and when you do or when you did a good job the clients will start talking in behalf of you where they will advertise your business or they will advertise your product basing from the service that they got from you so if it's a bad service then they will advertise that your business has a bad customer service but if your you know customer service is really good and your product is really good the way you deliver the service is top notch then they will also advertise those things in behalf of you and that's where you will get another clients or prospect but the problem is you can't really rely on those word of mouth you can't really measure how many people are talking about my brand how many people are really talking and posting about my products or my services and how many people gave reviews to the service that i rendered and that is one of the main problem of word of mouth although it is very effective but it's unmeasurable now the third thing which is a very simple and most people are still resisting it is by having an online presence we all know this one we all heard this one but having an online presence is way different than before these days all you have to do is when you know how to create a Instagram account or Facebook account or YouTube account or any social media accounts you can be in business right away and that is fast and the problem with that is everybody can jump on it but not everybody knows how to do it but having an online presence is very crucial in order for you to build a relationship and build that trust with your audience or with your prospect and this is where most people are hanging out right now where when you go to Instagram Instagram, you can find your ideal customer in that platform and when you go to Facebook you can also find a group of people that is congregating in one Facebook group and we can go on and on and on but what can you really do so that you can take advantage of this era right now where better clients are also looking 
for better service provider. Better clients are also looking for better products for them to use. It could be for their company or it could be for personal or professional use. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can just go to Google and just search whatever thing that you can think of, but I'm gonna give you a little advice and hopefully it doesn't matter if you take action on it or you're just gonna like throw this away and forget it. But one of the best ways in order for you to have an online presence is that having and producing value content. Now it, it doesn't matter if it's video, it doesn't matter if it's like through writing, it doesn't matter if it's through photos, but as long as you're providing value, on your social media accounts, then that's the time you can start building trust with your audience. And once someone picked up that post or that value content, they will even like try to find what your website is or what's your other social media accounts. And hopefully they will find the solution from their problems through your social media accounts, through your content. So that is why it is very crucial for you to identify what are the content that I need to produce basing from what kind of business that I am in right now. If you are in a financial business or if you are in a real estate business, what are the things or what are the contents that you can create in order for you to give value to the buyers? So let's say you're a real estate agent. What are the things that you can create and shoot for first time home buyers if those are your target audience? If not, then you could maybe create another content for those people who are in business that is trying to get a space um, for their businesses. And you can just simply ask yourself, okay, what are the objections that they're having right now? What are the problem that they're facing right now? And then you can talk about the problem. It's not a rocket science. You just need to be in front of your camera, start talking, and then start delivering the best out of you. And don't worry about like giving all your secrets because like when you give all your secrets and people will feel and see that and that you're authentic, they will not go to any other agent, but to you. They will find a way to find you. They'll find a way to contact you so that they can work with you because they feel and trusted you in the first place by just watching your video. So I hope you get quite a few tips of what we've just talked about in this episode. And if you do, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if this is what you are looking for or you know, give me a like or whatever questions you have, you can leave that in the comment box down below. And let's have a conversation about this. And hopefully we can just brainstorm ideas and I'll try my best to respond to every comment that you will leave in the comment box down below. So I hope you learned something out of this episode. And without further ado, my alarm is keep ringing right now. It's 6.30 in the morning and I am creating and shooting videos. Amazing, hey? So that's all for today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Ciao for now.